Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want us to take a moment to pray. Happy New Month, everybody. Happy New Month. Happy New Month. Welcome to your month of victory. It's a month of sounds of victory. You're going to be making sounds of victory. You only make sounds of victory because you have victory. And I know the Lord God will visit us all. If why your eyes not noisy, I want you to unmute your mic. Mics and begin to just thank God for this new month. Thank God for last month and thank God for this new month. Can we just open our mouths and begin to pray? Father Lord, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Gabarabashikiri. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. Oh, thank you, and thank you, Jesus. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Father, Lord, we bless you. If where you are, don't you can unmute your mic and join me as we begin to thank God for this new month. Wherever you are, please unmute your mic and it's not, I just begin to bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. This is the month you made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for what you did last Thank month. You, Thank you for fighting our faithfulness. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank, 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 Thank you for being here. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship Jesus. you. We appreciate you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your awesomeness. Thank you, Jesus. We well, bless you. We exalt your holy name, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for safety. Thank you for protection. Thank you for provision. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for good health. Thank you for counting us worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, awesome. God, thank you. thank you, thank you, oh Jesus, thank you because you're faithful, thank you because you're awesome, thank you, Jesus, you're beautiful beyond description, thank you, Jesus, because heaven is your throne and the earth is your footstool, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you, King of glory. We worship you, the rose of Sharon, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus, the lady of the valley. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, so welcome to our month of Sounds of Victory. A very special month. Uh, when Friends Pray is a weekend before the election. That's the 19th. And then the election is, uh, at least the presidential, kicks off first. And this is the month we've been waiting for, and I have good news. It's going to be a good month. It's going to be a blessed month in the name of Jesus. No matter what the enemy has in store, no matter what the enemy thinks or they are planning, the Lord has given us the last laugh. And we are grateful to God for his faithfulness. Hallelujah. So um, I want us to open our Bibles. We're going to be reading, and I have a few announcements. And I will share towards the end of the call a few things the Lord has placed on our heart. It's our month of sounds of joy, which is sounds of victory, which is basically a month of praise because praise uh, is the reaction of victory. Um, praise is synonymous to victory. Praise is in line, is, is associated to something joyful happening, to something victorious has happened and then you're praising. But we know that in this kingdom, we don't have to wait to see to praise. Because we have to wait to see physically to praise. We don't need things to have changed physically to praise. All we need to do is receive a word and to see it through the eyes of the spirit. And the Lord has given us a word that it is our month of sounds of victory. It's our month. You know, when I kept saying sound, he said, no, sounds of victory. It's not just one sound, multiple sounds. Hallelujah. And so we're going to be reading different scriptures in the course of the month of how the Lord won victoriously for people. Stories of victory in scripture just to build our faith and to cheer us on. So I'm going to be praying for over us in a bit. But first, Joshua chapter 6. Now the gate of Jericho was tightly shut because the people were afraid of the Israelites. No one was allowed to go in or out. But the Lord said to Joshua, I have given you Jericho. 
the Lord is saying to us, he has given us Nigeria. It's kings and all the strong warriors. You and your fighting men should march around the town once a day for six days. Seven priests will walk ahead of the ark, each carrying a ram's horn. On the seventh day, you have to march around the town. On the seventh day, you have to march around the town. One minute. Seven times. With the priest blowing the horns. When you hear the, hear the priest, give one blast, one long blast on the ram's horn. Have all the people shout, shout as loud as they can. When the walls of the town will collapse, then the walls of the town will collapse and people will charge straight into the town. So Joshua called together the priest and said, take up the ark of the Lord's covenant and assign seven priests to walk in front of it and each carrying a ram's horn. Then he gave the order, march around the town and, arm, and the armed men will lead the way in front of the ark of the Lord. Mm. After Joshua spoke to the people, the seven priests with the ram's horn started marching in the presence of the Lord, blowing the horns as they march, sounds of victory, sounds of victory. And the ark of the Lord's covenant followed behind them. Some of the armed men marched in front of the priests with the horns and some behind the ark. With the priests continually blowing the horns, do not shout, don't even talk, Joshua commanded. Not a single word from any of you until I tell you to shout, then shout. So the ark of the Lord was carried around the town once a day. And then everyone returned to spend the night in the camp. Joshua got up early the next morning and the priests carried the ark, again carried the ark of the Lord. The seven priests with the rams on marched in front of the ark of the Lord, blowing their from their horns. Again, the armed men marched both in front of the priests and the on behind the ark of the Lord. All the time the priests were blowing their horns. On the second day they did that, they followed this pattern for six days. For six days. On the seventh day, they usually got up done march around the town as they did before, as they did before, as they did before, as they did before. But this time they went around the town seven times. The seventh time around as the priests sounded the long blast on their horns, Joshua commanded people, shout, for the Lord has given you the town. Jericho and everything in it must be completely destroyed. And it went on. Now, praise God. You see, one of the things that stood out was, um, the scripture is Joshua chapter six. One of the things that stood out for me is this. There, was, there were instructions. Instruction precedes victory. Instructions, revelation, encounters. There were instructions. These were not instructions that probably made sense, humanly speaking. These were not instructions that made sense, humanly speaking. These are not instructions that, you know, you would think of to bring down walls or to deliver a nation, but they were instructions. Somebody said they were instructions. So in this month of February, can I announce to you, there are instructions. Instructions that will preserve you. Instructions that will set you free. Instructions that will empower you. They are instructions. The thing right there is, some people might not understand the instruction. You might not even understand the instruction. The instruction might not make sense to you, but doesn't make it less of an instruction. Of an instruction. They are instructions. Instructions to prosper you. Instructions to keep you. They are instructions. They are instructions. Glory to God. They are instructions. Hallelujah. They are instructions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They are instructions. Kola Bashadabaya. They are instructions. Mande Kelebo It might not make sense to you, but they are instructions. And the Lord God is calling us to Akin. You see, so if they had gone around the the with their own strategy. So we're not going to win. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. And this is even God speaking to my heart over a situation. We're not going to win by good intentions. We're going to win by God instructions. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. You're not going to be win. You're not going to be victorious by good intentions. You're going to be, you're going to be victorious by God instructions. When you follow God's instructions, that's grace. It becomes good intentions. But because it's good intention, doesn't make it a God instruction. You're not going to win. You're not going to be victorious because it's a good intention. Oh, I intend, this is good. You're going to win by God instructions. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't know if somebody caught that. You're going to win by God instructions. And they said, go round. Let the priest go ahead. 
Let the, the warriors and warriors be in front of the priest to go ahead, blasting the horn. Sounds of victory. Can I tell you something? There are layers to this sound. God is asking us to create. See, the first was a sound of victory that preceded the victory. Ah, yeah. There was a sound they were making because God has spoken a word. The response was to, they were releasing a sound of victory because God has spoken. That's faith. They didn't know. They've never read it before. Glory to God. They've never read it before that a sound will bring down walls. People going around. So this is not a month or a year where it's just by strategies you read. This is going to be divine strategy. I hear for somebody, it's going to be like mana. I, I received that word. Every day, it's going to be a strategy to win the game. So there are layers to the sounds of victory. There's one that is a, all of these are act of faith. But there's one that is like an, an act of faith because you have not yet seen the victory, but you're releasing a sound. Why are you releasing a sound? Because God has given a word. God gave a word to release the sound of rejoicing. He said, but don't talk, don't do anything more than what I've said. This, this month, you want to be careful not to get religious, not to just do things because it's how I've done it. He said, this is how I want you to do it. They released the sound. They went. People thought they were crazy. There was, there's a formation. There's a way. There's, a, there, there's precision in the details. How do you want this to be Jehovah? 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 And the Lord gave them a, an instruction. The Lord gave them a word. The Lord gave them an instruction. This is how it's going to be. You go and release a sound. You go and release a sound. This is how it's going to be. Hallelujah. So they went around. And on the seventh day, so you can get used to the instruction. He said, like they normally do, they went round, but there was an upgrade. There was an addition. As you go through this month, even as you do the things you've normally done or you normally do, pay attention. Do not get familiar to God's instruction. Do not get familiar to the way God speaks to you or the things you've heard. So you, they were going round. But this time around, that you give a shout. You see, the sound of victory preceded the shout of victory. All right, glory to God. There was a sound of victory. Thank you, Lord. I'm getting clarity. And there was the sound of victory. The Lord said, do not shout. He gave me a sound. There is a sound the Lord is asking us, I Aaron, to give the Lord over our nation. We've been praying for the last almost five years now. Going on five years, I believe. My man said me right. Yeah. Going on five years, just praying for the nation. We started as four, three, sometimes two people on this call, praying for the nation. It didn't make sense. Interceding. And there are other people that have prayed for 30 years. People that have prayed for 40 years. People that have prayed for five years or one day, whatever. Praying for the nation. We're creating a sound. And what's coming to my mind is that the situation in, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, where the Lord said there was, the, the Lord said to um, um, Jeremiah, um, well, yeah, Jeremiah 37, no, Ezekiel rather, the Lord said to Ezekiel, can these dry bones live again? He said, thou knowest. He said, say to, the, say to this, and he said, at a point he said, he heard a, he heard a rattling, there was a noise. But that noise did not mean, the king, the bones came together, but there was still no life in them. And the breath, the Lord said, release the breath into them. And then this mighty army rose. The Lord is saying to us, as we release a sound, as we release sounds of victory, you know, sounds of victory become praise. They become you releasing sounds of praise. It becomes you releasing sounds of praise. Is somebody following me this morning? You just releasing Thanksgiving. You are creating a sound of victory. You might, Thanksgiving over situations that you've not even seen the manifestation. You are releasing a sound of victory. That sound is creating a rattling. That sound is creating a shaking. That sound is testifying to the faithfulness of God and your trust in his word. And then he said, release a shout. This one was going to shout. We're going to release a shout. There's going to be tribulation. At the point of the shout, you are celebrating, not just spiritually, but physically, because you can see the manifestation of that which you trust in God. By the way, that shout, they were not shouting because the word fell. They shouted and the word fell. There was a progression. They were releasing a sound. They released a shout. You want to believe that that shout would have taken up with because there was one, it was a shout first that happened because it was an instruction and there was not, they were not shouting because the wall has fallen. They shouted, the wall fell. Do you, don't you think they shout to intensify? Guys, picture it. We read the scripture like, because of the story. 
You've been going around the world. What do you think? You're going around the world. You're telling you not to make a sound. Just the um the priest that will make sound. You are just to go around. And just to go around. Don't speak. Don't do anything. And then on the seventh day, you were told to make a shout. And then you are shout. You're, of course, you already think you're crazy. You're making a shout. Not because you've seen the world fall. Even though it's a different thing if the world fell, it's easy to shout. Somebody's going to shout this month. You're going to shout not because you have seen the manifestation. You're going to shout because you've received the word. Because the word itself is the manifestation. The word in the word is your manifestation. Oh my God. Is somebody catching us this morning? Somebody's going to release a joyful, you are going to be full of shouts of praise. Shouts of praise. Because in the shout is your manifestation. In the shout is your, in your celebration ahead of what is happening. Bishop says something he's going to share with us soon on the call. He said, The Lord was speaking to me about Alpha praise and Omega praise. An alpha praise. You are giving praise because you is the alpha, is the beginning of the thing. You've not seen the manifestation fully, but you are rejoicing. I feel the power of God over me. You are thanking God. You are celebrating. A scripture that comes to mind. I think it's Psalm 67. He said, Let the people praise me. Let the people praise me. Then the land will yield its increase. I believe the praise of the of the people is, is a sound, it's a fertilizer. Then Jesus, we, we have talked, we have spoken. We are praying. It's time to praise. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Turn your praise to prayer. So that sounds must have been progressive. Picture this. You've been going around this circle. You've been making a sound. And you're saying, make a sound. And you're shouting, whoa. And you're hearing, bruh, 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 what was going on? And all of a sudden, you see the very thing that's been confronting you come down. Don't you think that the shout would have intensified? Shout of this, oh my God, this is happening. Whoa, and you're shouting, whoa, and the shout then that maybe they were faking will become real. And the shout that they're faking will become real. You see what's happening? God told them to shout. They were shouting by faith, and then the shout became a reality. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. When the Lord is saying sound of victory, you are making a sound of victory ahead of the victory. It's because indeed your victory is secured. You are only testifying ahead of what is going to be your experience, victory. You're only testifying ahead what is going to be your experience. Victory. You're only testifying ahead what is going to be your experience. And that's how the kingdom works. Shout. They're shouting. Why am I shouting? Because they're shout. Okay. Then I'm shouting by faith. No, it doesn't make sense. Then I really have, then, then I have to really shout because I'm, I'm in total shock. Or I'm, I'm, I'm out of my mind. I'm full of joy. Behold me what is in front of me. The arm of flesh is not going to win the battle over Nigeria. It's going to be by the spirit. It's going to be by grace. Not by power, not by mind, but by our spirit. The more we get our PVCs, the more we are pushing for political socialization, the much more we intensify in the place of intercession. So what is your responsibility? Looking at the scripture, what is your responsibility? Is to act into the voice of God. Obey every instruction because good intentions alone will not win this battle. It's going to be by God's instruction. You're not going to be victorious just by good intentions. It has to be God instructions. It has to be God instructions. It has to be God instructions. I want to tell you anything. By all means, protect your peace and your joy. Because you see, the devil is going to... I, I want to picture. I want to imagine. It's not written in scripture. It was important to have been written. So there's not a, it's not, yeah, to have been written. But I also imagine people watching them, people maybe laughing at them. At first day, must have felt very intrigued. As we're going around the world, people are like, oh my God, what's about to happen? But well, nothing happened on the first day, okay? Second day, okay? So, I'm not by the third day, they're already laughing at them, probably stoning them or laughing or calling them out. Look at that one. And you can't even talk. You know why? Do you know why I think God said that? You are engaging something. Keep your mouth shut. Don't speak negativity. Don't speak offense. Don't even get in the way. Maybe as you're marching, somebody stepped on your feet. But you have an instruction, don't speak. So you have to keep quiet and be okay. What am I saying? Protect your peace. Protect your joy. Stay out of offense. Avoid anything. You see... I was watching one of the courses. By the way, there are courses on the app. I was watching a, a, a part of it, just reviewing some of the videos we have. But the team, and 
I realized there was one I was talking about offense. And I said, a lot of us trivialize the issue of offense and intercession. It's like you're heaping coal on your head and you don't know. We, we, we trivialize it because it's not thin. It's very subtle. But if you read the book of Luke chapter 18, I don't know, what's the scripture about prayer? I don't think it was Luke 18. Was it Luke 18? Probably Luke 18. No, if we read the scripture, where he says that, most scripture where he says that if you ask me for anything, it shall be done. The next thing will say that when you pray, make sure you, you are not in all forgiveness. You forgive your neighbor. When we talk about the scripture of faith, about asking God and they will do it, most times what follow is forgiveness. Forgive. Forgive. Because if the devil can't stop you, it will create a situation where you can stop yourself. It, it, will, it will facilitate situations where you can stop yourself. So sounds of victory. Make sure you protect your peace, your joy at all costs. As a nation, God is saying to us, as a people, keep quiet. Keep quiet in terms of don't join in every conversation, debate. Of course, educate people by all means. You can't educate people by being caustic and being, even from a caution. You can't hate some anybody, not any of the political party. I mean, I mean some, it's very irritating, it's unbelievable what will guard your heart. Let what you come out of your mouth be peace. I say, Lord, I thank you because your will alone will be done. I noticed that sometimes when I start passing certain billboards, I was just missing. I was just getting angry because the audacity for me, I was getting so irritated. Initially, it started as only anger. After a while, borderline, I realized it was no longer only anger. This one is really a case of, so it was something else. I had to check my heart because how can I approach based on intercession? A lot of people are praying their own desires. So yes, you can have desire that is actually of God, yes. But be sure that that anger is only anger and not, and how you will know is what comes out of your mouth. They're cursing our leaders, cursing the people that are right now that we need them. What's I saying to me? One day I was looking at the picture of the president and I heard declaring that God will use this man. In this president of Nigeria, you'll be shocked who God will use as midwives. You'll be shocked what intercession can do. Who would have thought that Egyptians midwives, Egyptian midwives, will be the one to preserve the baby and not kill them? Is somebody following me? Who would have thought they were going to be killed? Why would you sacrifice yourself for people you don't know? Why would you sacrifice yourself for people you don't know? They're going to be killed, but they were able, and they came up with a story of Pharaoh. Oh, come on! Somebody say there's nothing impossible for God to do. And that's why, as we are praying, it's better at best pray in the spirit so that you don't pray in the spirit. Use scripture to pray. There's nobody, I love what Sapi says. God will use anybody. We want to use our fire, we use our fire. We want to use the we use God, whoever wants anybody, if we can use a donkey to speak. So, Lord, we pray, says, uh, cleanse our heart so that we will not undo our prayers with the words we speak. What was important for them was not talking. Was What was important for them at the particular time was obeying God. And when they got to the part where he needed them to speak, then say what I've said. So sometimes don't, don't analyze your instructions wrongly. Good intentions alone will not deliver victory. It has to be God's instructions. So we're going to be praying. So begin to prepare to close. This morning, Lord, I'm ready for February. I'm really excited. February is blessed. February is a blessed month. February will bring its increase. The blessing of the Lord will rest mightily upon us. We will be making sounds of victory as we go every day. Our heartbeats will become melody on unto the Lord, giving praise and thanksgiving to Him. Everywhere we turn, praise is just flowing out of us. Everywhere we turn, praise is just flowing out of us. And then we'll look around us and we'll see mighty things happen. As we by faith begin to make sounds of victory and shout, indeed, they will all of a sudden see, wow, things are changing and there will be unusual shouts in the camp. Oh, this our camp of believers is going to be a shouting one. The devil might try all it for all he wants, but if he that sits in heaven laughs, then we shall laugh because the Lord has won the battle over this nation. And the Lord will use anyone as he raised up Nehemiah. He used Cyrus. He used um, Darius. 
He used people. He used men. And Lord God, you will use INEC officials. You will use local people that we can't even imagine. They will become a tool in your hand to facilitate your purpose being established in the name of. So that's why we can't stand on our high horses and dictate to you how it should be done. Instead, we align with your word, through your word, prayer, intercession, and allow you to do a work on our heart and post us right on how you will do what you need to do. Father Lord, the hour is totally your business. We partner with you on the what of what you want to do. And we are available to so even be part of your hour. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Uh, Open heavens of our people, a mental upgrade, strength in the name of Jesus. There was a scripture you were declaring over me. This one, as I was praying, you were declaring it so strong in my spirit to say to the people, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can give sounds of victory. I can perpetually be full of praise. I can always praise God mightily in this month of February. I can live a life where there is no worry. I can live a life of peace truly. I can do all things. This do all things. He's not just doing things physically. He's even producing fruits in your life. I can be full of joy permanently. I can have no down moment. I can do all things. Yes, I can give. I can serve. I can be a blessing in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you because indeed we can do all things. Somebody, I can do all things. I can do the impossible. I will find myself handling machine and I'm wondering, when did I become an engineer? If the Lord moves me to go and begin to do certain things, I, I can do it. If the Lord begins to ask me to sing on a daily basis over Nigeria, I can do it. If the Lord needs me to begin to make declarations, I can do it. If the Lord needs me to knock up babies and children, I can do it. If the Lord is increasing to my portfolio and assignment, I can do it. The Lord, I can manage my time. Come on, somebody. I can manage my time effectively. I can do all things. I can be disciplined. I can learn how to say no. I can learn how to say yes. I can learn how to serve. I can love the unlovable. I can love the unlovable. I can be patient in, in, with people. I can see the best in people. I can do all things. Someone, somebody. Is somebody waiting? I need somebody to begin to declare. I can do all things. Nigeria can have a free and fair election through Christ that helps us in the name of Jesus. We can become impossible for corruption to be perpetrated during our system. Why? I can do all things. And if you and I are the eyes in Nigeria, that means Nigeria can do all things through Christ that strengthens her. In the name of Jesus, I can give, I can laugh, I can be full of joy, I can give joy, I can evangelize, I can preach the gospel. Am I talking to somebody? I can lay hands on the sick and they'll be healed. I can pray for hours. I can study the Bible with depth and revelation. I can have increase in my mental capacity i can see i can see clearly i can declare i can be a catalyst for god's blessing in the life of people i can do all things i can praise without season i can pray without season i can manage my time i'm going to give us a few minutes and begin to make that declaration as we wrap up but first i want to share Quickly, the Lord gave an instruction to me two weeks ago in church. And in fact, it's literally changing everything I thought Project 23 would be about. For those of you that don't know, we have something called Project 23. The, link, the team will drop a link. You could go there and pick a state you want to be part of. I want to encourage everybody. Mm. It's not, if you don't do anything, God will raise up for somewhere else. The Lord said to me, this is the moment of the Esthers, the Nehemiahs, the Boris. The Daniels, the Josephs to arise. So you go to the link, pick your state. It's very easy. You just pray. It's not you pray. Um, some of them, some of them pray once a week. Some of them pray once in two days. Some of them pray once or every day. Just fifteen minutes or ten minutes. Just pray over a particular state. Why did God ask us to do that? We're drilling down. It, it, so when you're praying that state, you're praying the affairs of that state. You're praying for the governors. We're trying to raise intercessors in all local governments in Nigeria praying over this election and beyond, all right? But aside that, the 9 p.m. watch from tonight will be on my Instagram live. 9 p.m., please watch. So the 9 p.m. watch, the Lord has asked that we use it. So rally more people and pray over the nation. 
They'll still try to be on Zoom as well, so that. But nothing will happen on Zoom. Just gonna, you're just going to be hearing my voice, so that in case of those that might not hear this information, I still come by nine p.m. But it's going to be on my Instagram live. I agree. And as we go on, we'll see how we can extend it to Facebook and all. But for now, at least this week, we're going to be praying. We're going to be worshiping God on the page. And they just need your prayers and encouragement because this is a very uh, deliberate act by God. And I was asking the Lord, and the Lord said, no matter what you are hearing, meaning no matter what prophetic word you're hearing, whatever the news you are reading, no matter what, what do you know? What what do what has been impressed on your heart? And one of the things that's been impressed on our heart is to intercede, is to pray. And one of my favorite scriptures is James. The Bible says Elijah was a man of light pastor, man of frailty. Yet he prayed that he should not rain for three and a half years and he did, and then he prayed again and he did. The prayer of an effective righteous, one effective righteous man availed much. Well, what 81. So indeed, we can pray and shift things. So tell your friends about it. You see videos on my page later on the day about it. And let us, let us move with the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Let us move and do what God is asking us to do. Keep me, me and the team in your prayers. It's going to be a very, it's going to be a great one. But I think that it's going to be a very deliberate action. I know. So as we go this morning, we're going to declare, I can do all things. That's the link for Project 23. Just save it. Just pick a state. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Even if you're not in Nigeria, join us. Join us. It is very important. We are the birth canal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going to declare that I, I can do all things. Where your eyes are noisy, you're going to unmute your mic. I am going to start to declare. I can do all things. This month, I can give sounds of praise and victory to God without all backs. If where your eyes are noisy, unmute your mic and begin to declare. I can do all things. 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 I can this precious name of prayer. Amen. Today is um, Sister Maureen's birthday. Happy birthday, Maureen. We love you so much. God bless you greatly. God bless you greatly. Thank you for being a blessing to me, to the ministry, my family, to the church, and the body of God, Christ at large. Can we just celebrate our sister? Um, Sister Maureen, happy birthday to you. God bless you greatly. God increase you on all sides in the name of Jesus. Wow, this Zoom is a new one. I'm seeing cake drop from the sky. Eh? Zoom is doing great things. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the blessings of God on all sides in Jesus' name. All right, God bless you guys. Remember, you can use this link to join the 9 a.m. watch, the 12 p.m. worship watch, 3 p.m. watch, 6 p.m. watch, the 9 p.m. Bible study. And um, um, of course, sorry, 9 p.m. is going to be on my Instagram page, right? Um, Mr. Lua will I be? Um, IRA is going to join. We're going to have different people join as well. Um, 12 p.m., the Zoom link. 12 a.m. rather, 3 a.m., and we're back again. 
by the grace of God. God bless you all and have a blessed, blessed day. Once again, happy birthday, Maureen. Um, we love you. I love you. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day.